Here we have a map type that takes an input type T and makes all of its members as read only using the read only map type modifier. To demonstrate this transform, we have a type point with members X and Y, both of which are editable. When we pass this type into the mapped type, the output type will have both X and Y marked as read only. And we can see that when we hover over the output type. This kind of a transform is also something that is used quite commonly in the libraries out there, which is why it is a part of the built-in TypeScript library definitions. So if we delete our implementation, it falls back to the built-in one, and when we hover over it, you can see that it is same as the one that we wrote by hand. Now let's demonstrate this built-in type with a practical example. Here we have a function called makeReadOnly that takes an object of type T and returns an object where all the members are marked as read-only. Within the function body, it creates a shallow copy of the object and uses the built-in JavaScript runtime function called object.freeze to freeze this object, essentially making it read-only. Now we have an editable point with members X and Y, and you can see that we are allowed to modify its members, for example, set the X to a new value. However, we can make a read-only version of this point by passing it to the makeReadOnly utility function. Because of the read-only return type annotation, TypeScript understands that this point would be read-only, and if you try to modify its values, for example the X member, we get a compile time error.